before you blink, remember this. Perseverance just recorded something on Mars that NASA didn't explain. Something no scientist has ever shown you before. And what you're about to see in the next few seconds might rewrite everything we thought we knew about the red planet. This is not a rumor, not a theory. This is real Mars footage, and what Perseverance discovered will stun you. If you're new here, hit subscribe and turn on notifications, because on All About Mars Surface, we show you the discoveries NASA doesn't talk about. In this video, the Perseverance Mars rover on Sol 8911 discovers a mysterious scattering of bone-colored rocks, spots more on a distant hill, and continues driving up the steep crater rim while listening to the Martian wind. Perseverance has been attempting to climb out of Jezero Crater. The ascent has so far proven slippery and dangerous. Perseverance is currently situated at a place named Curtis Ridge. The team at NASA notices an interesting rock nearby and orders Perseverance to take a mosaic. The rock looks shiny in areas and intrigues the scientific team at NASA. They name it Observation Rock. The rover is ordered to investigate. Lots of cracks and cavities are present. Perseverance uses its dust removal tool to improve the visibility of the rock's surface. The patch of freshly blown rock reveals a reddish surface. Perseverance gathers close-up data with the Watson camera before moving on to another site named Eagle Cliffs. The drive of 178 meters is completed successfully, and Perseverance is now ordered to listen to the peaceful Martian wind at Eagle Cliffs under a particularly glowing Martian sun. The outcrop you see in the distance is Picotino. Perseverance takes a quick look back across the gorge. This huge mound on the northern side of the river valley would have been a much more challenging climb. However, the team at NASA noticed something strange and interesting in this image. There's a scattered group of bright white rocks which looks out of place. This is extremely rare on Mars and very interesting to the team at NASA. So they flag it as the next target for the rover. With Halloween approaching on Earth, scientists named the area Mist Park. Looking the other way, we can see the Pico Tino outcrop. Perseverance captures a higher quality mosaic of the outcrop. The scientific team is eager to arrive. For now, the rover investigates some rocks below it. First, Perseverance uses its gaseous dust removal tool to blow away the dust and then proceeds with the use of the Watson camera. The sequence of images from Watson reveals a pretty typical Martian rock. The team at NASA orders Perseverance to backtrack toward the strange white rocks immediately. On its way, the rover takes this mosaic of Eagle Cliffs. These ridges will help scientists determine why there is such a diversity of rock colors up here. Upon arrival at the site of the strange white rocks known as Mist Park, the rover listens to the Martian wind here too. There are several reasons for this. One is to gather a more complete picture of atmospheric conditions, and another is that it's incredibly cool to be able to listen to the sounds around the rover. Upon closer inspection, these rocks appear to be relatively small and not large enough to safely use the abrasion bit, which is disappointing for the team. What they can do, however, is gather data with the rover's other. First, Perseverance takes a high-quality mosaic at Mist Park. The team believes that these rocks have somehow been transported here. In other words, they don't belong in this area. The team at NASA orders Perseverance to study the white rocks up close. Using the SuperCam, the images reveal a gleaming surface that almost appears to be wet. After using the laser and other remote instruments, scientists confirm that this is quartz, a common mineral here on Earth but rare on Mars. The leading theory is that when the asteroid that created Jezero hit, temperatures and pressures were sufficient to form quartz in a process known as hydrothermal alteration. After examining the white rocks, the team at NASA focuses on a target nicknamed Ranger Falls, 
right underneath this scattering of quartz, and Perseverance gets to work. After blowing away dust, the Watson camera is used to examine the rock up close. The texture of this rock is the first of its kind found in the Jezero crater. It also appears to be related to the impact that formed the Jezero crater itself. This is the first abrasion on the crater rim. By comparing what's under the surface here with what's down in the crater, scientists can create a better picture of ancient Mars. The patch is initially photographed and the rover is ordered to capture it in more detail. The resulting mosaic shows very bright tailings. Now that the data has been gathered from Mist Park, the team at NASA orders the rover to return to Eagle Cliff, where it was before the slight detour occurred. The rover takes a panorama of Eagle Cliff from a distance. Once there, the team at NASA has seen a rock that they'd like to study and then plan to visit Pico Turquino, which can be seen in this annotated image from the team. The rover sets out on its drive back up the crater rim. This area has seen a lot of meandering from Perseverance. This sequence shows the drive. The rover uses its autonomous navigation skills perfectly. On approach to Eagle Cliff, the rover encounters a strange rock that resembles a dinosaur spine. Unfortunately for us, it turns out to be a normal Martian rock. On Sol 1320, Perseverance arrives back at Eagle Cliff. This image highlights several cross track marks. The team at NASA parks the rover next to an interesting rock that they'd like to study. On closer inspection, however, the rock is not erratable due to how the rover is tilted in the landscape. The team is also afraid that erading any target here could dislodge the balancing rock and pose a risk to the mission. Perseverance turns to look at Pico Turquino, a mighty mound that everyone wants to reach. After taking a clearer shot of the crossing tracks, Perseverance sets off on a long drive. This sequence shows the drive towards Pico Turquino. The rover covered a distance of 156 meter or about 160 yards up the crater rim. Perseverance on Sol 3117 looks ahead at Pico Turquino from its closer vantage point. The team at NASA is debating whether to drive directly up to the formation or go around the back for more favorable inclines. The rover also looks down the slope at Eagle Cliff in the midground. During the drive, Perseverance comes across another white rock this one appears to have a gray coating. After taking data with the SuperCam instruments, the rover turns its attention to Pico Turquino, capturing a high-quality mosaic. Pico Turquino is actually quite large. Here's an astronaut for scale. The outcrop is roughly 90 meters or 270 feet away. While viewing this image, we spotted something strange. Just behind the outcrop, you can see a hill in the distance. This hill appears to also contain a scattering of white rocks. We weren't sure if this was a mosaic stitching issue, so we also investigated the original image. The scattering of white rocks is present in the raw image. It seems quartz could be quite a common find on the crater rim. Using the rover's location and known features, it's likely that this is the hill bearing the white rocks. It's the most prominent peak this side of the river. The team at NASA desperately wants to reach the other side of Pico Turquino. Still, the rover is struggling to ascend the hill. A combination of the steep incline and deepening sand is causing the rover's right rear wheel motor to keep stalling. Taking inspiration from its name, however, the rover perseveres and starts making ground outcrop. On Saw 1428, a drive of 173 meters is achieved. This sequence of images shows the drive, which took the rover just over one hour. Perseverance looks back at its tracks after the big drive. You can see Pico Tino on the left. The terrain around this side of the outcrop certainly looks more friendly to the rover. In this image, 
you can just make out the white rocks we saw earlier on the distant hill. The team at NASA orders Perseverance to approach Picotino. Just as the rover begins to move, the wheel stall problem occurs again. You can see in this image that the rover only moved a few meters before stalling and the sand appears to be deep. Due to the motor issues, the team at NASA plans a rover reboot to occur over the next few solves. In the next episode, Perseverance reaches the edge of the crater rim, the highest ground in the mission so far, and takes a 360-degree panorama. We want to thank our channel members and Patreon subscribers for their generous support. Join the community today to get your name in the videos, early access to ad-free content, and even a curated set of 4K desktop wallpapers. It really helps us to create more quality content that you enjoy. Thanks for watching All About Mars Surface. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps.